Hey everybody, here it is. This is my best setting so far for the Quest 2 with the latest NVIDIA driver and the latest SIM update. Not world update, but SIM update version, which is 1.30.7.0. And you can see the settings here, and I will put a link to all these photos. All these screenshots will be on my blog page, and I'll put a link in the description so that you can look at these and see what they are and how they're set up. Now, these are just my control panel for the NVIDIA. You can see where they're all set at here. And like I said, I will put a link to a blog page with all these photos. Now, this is a virtual desktop streamer app on the desktop itself. I use this app along with the virtual desktop app in the Quest 2 headset along with Steam VR. These are my Steam VR settings. You can see my resolution is on auto. I am not using the super sample filtering at all here. And then on the per application settings, I have a custom resolution multiplier set to 100%. And the rest is just the default. And now the virtual desktop app settings within the Quest headset. You can see my settings are here for my basic settings. And this is the desktop streaming and desktop settings, not the actual Steam VR, which is under the streaming menu here. But you can see I have it high, 90 FPS, 125 megabits per second, 75% sharpening, air video buffering, and synchronous space warp always enabled. Now, I am still using the OpenXR Toolkit. I find it still improves my game, so I use it. I have it set for NIS. I have it 80%, sharpness 85%. No fixed foveated rendering, and I am not overriding the resolution here. And the rest are just my own personal preferences for coloring and brightness and so forth. Now, in game, you can see I'm using the DLSS. And right now it's on reprojection mode of depth. Sometimes I change that. Uh, reflex low latency on plus boost. And then you can see my terrain LOD is 35. And then the others are ultra high, high, medium, and off of the grass and bushes. And object level of detail. And I change that just like I do the buildings and trees. I change those depending on where I'm flying. If I'm flying in the mountains, I do not have my buildings rendered at high or ultra. So, and if I'm in the city, I don't have my trees rendered at high or ultra. But these settings really give me the best performance so far. And you will see a demonstration at the end of this video of the helicopter around New York, as well as the last two videos that I put up which are flying the Spitfire around Atlanta and the Hughes H1 Racer around Raleigh, North Carolina. Again, RTX 3070 Steam VR virtual desktop, no Oculus software installed, none used, no link cable. Well, there you go. That's all my settings that I can think of. If I think of any more, I'll put them in the notes or in the description. You can see I'm sitting here in my helicopter in New York City, and I'm averaging around 40 to 42 frames for the most part. And that, to me, is pretty good for New York City. Now, I do have an add-on scenery installed for New York landmarks. I did a video on that. It's on my channel. So I do not fly with photogrammetry because with my system, it does not render properly or look good at all. So I fly without photogrammetry, but I will install certain landmark or building add-ons like this one for New York City. And so we're just going to fly the helicopter here. The G2 Cabri is the name, and uh, let's see how it all looks here. 
I mean, this is a very good spot to test rendering quality as well as settings and so forth. And, and, you know, and I haven't flown here in a little bit, so I may need to fill some of my cache with some of the buildings. But, and of course, the propeller looking through it always makes things look a little wobbly, but for the most part, this seems to be playing very nicely. And of course, there'll be some stutter in the playback that you guys see because of the fact that one. It doesn't ever record as nicely. It doesn't render all the time properly. And when I put it up on YouTube, they always mess with the quality. But in my headset, it's quite smooth. Again, my headset is the Quest 2. I do not use the Oculus Link cable or a Link I do not have any Oculus software installed on my computer. I don't need it. I use the Virtual Desktop Streamer app, which is installed on my computer. My Quest 2 headset is running the Virtual Desktop app that's available in the Quest 2 store. And I am running Steam VR on my desktop. And all of that allows me to fly wirelessly and get what I consider to be good performance and good quality. And I do love going down the streets of New York in an aircraft or in a helicopter and uh, hell, the heck, part of the building missing there. Uh, that's just the nature of having these add-ons. <laughs> they kind of mess with the default sometimes. But that's all right. I'm willing to put up with it. And, uh, yeah, so find Times Square. I love to fly around Times Square in a helicopter. All right, so we're going to take a right here, and yeah, Times Square is there. And the Times Square is down here on the right. I always want to be careful because I hate getting caught in a, my own draft on one of these buildings. Times Square is to the right here. So we're going to go up here. We're going to bang a quick uh, 180 here. We're going to right back and then we're going to take a left down. We're going to do a 180 down and right back. Yeah. Nice. Getting a little low though. I lost a little more altitude than I wanted to there, but not bad. And we'll take a left up here and we'll check out Times Square. Yeah. Winner, Best Play, August, Crown Plaza, Cover Girl. <laughs> nice signs, I like it. Xbox. Yeah, this is probably my favorite part of this add on scenery right here. Especially the animated billboards and signs. Of course, I don't know how old any of this stuff is, I don't know any of these things. Mean Girls, Billy Elliot, I don't know. And the aircraft I recognize. <laughs> uh, MGM, I guess, Old Navy, Coca-Cola. 
New York City Police Station. Wow, that's pretty neat. You know, they don't call their own helicopters out to come and get me. Yeah, so anyhow, like I said, I will lay, I will have a link in the description below. Oh, got to check out this building, of course. Um, to a blog post with all the photos. So you can hopefully get a better look at them there. And the performance I've been getting with this latest driver and latest sim update, which is 1.30.7.0 is the sim update. And yeah, see that little bit of warping there. I get that with the helicopter, so it's going to be some sort of a tearing or after effect from the prop. Because that's usually when I get it, is going up like this. And it's not it within the rotor, but like right after it passes it. <laughs> so you know, maybe, maybe a jet stream. Who knows? New York City looks pretty good to me, though. I, I see some pretty good detail here. I mean, okay, so if it's not 100% realistic, hey, it's a simulator, and I don't care. To me, it's it's realistic enough in VR to trigger my fear of heights around some of these buildings sometimes. So if it's that immersive to me, I'm happy with it. MetLife, hey, we're going to come back and uh, check that building out, and then we'll finish up with a tour of Lady Liberty. Can't really come to the city and not visit her, so... All right, well, I hope these settings help you. If you have any questions or if there's any settings I forgot, then uh, please let me know. Um, one thing I do always do when I fly or I try to remember is once I launch Flight Simulator, I open up Task Manager, I find Flight Simulator, I go to the properties on it, and I set the affinity well, the priority, not the affinity. I set the priority to high. Uh, never set it to real time. That's not good. Set it to high. I find that gives me at least five to seven frames per second increase when I remember to do that. Uh, unfortunately, I've never found a way to keep that as a fixed setting. So I, you have to try and remember to do it whenever you launch it. So launch Flight Simulator, go to Task Manager, find Flight Simulator Executable, go to Properties, and set the priority to high. And that, like I said, makes a big difference. Um, any other things that I change? I don't have anything running on my laptop except for what I need to fly and to re edit my videos after I fly. So there really is nothing running on this computer. It is hardwired to a 1.5 gigabit uh, port on a wireless gaming router. My wireless gaming router is dedicated to Flight Simulator. Nothing else is connected to it, just my Quest 2. The, my laptop, my Alienware, is hardwired, and the Quest 2 is wireless. And it literally sits about four feet away. And again, it's dedicated. There is nothing else on there. So I'm able to stream everything to my Quest 2 and give it full power. And it's a 5 gigabit wireless as well. So that helps tremendously so if you don't get quite the settings i have it may be because your hardware is not the same again i'm hardwired into a seriously powerful gaming router uh, there is a video on that on my channel and then that wireless router feeds only my quest headset nothing else my keyboard and my mouse are wired gaming devices. I don't do Bluetooth or wireless for my keyboard or my mouse because I don't want them interfering with any of my signals. So I have wired. I find that they cause uh, no issues that I saw with Bluetooth and wireless keyboards and mice. So those are always wired now for me. And I have the Logitech G910 
which is a serious gaming keyboard, weighs, I think, almost as much as my laptop. And then a really nice Logitech G502 Hero gaming mouse. And I just added the Velocity One flight stick, and that is what I am flying right now. And I got to tell you, this thing is awesome. I am so glad that I invested in this flight stick. My yoke is the honeycomb, and I love that for my planes that need a yoke. But now I feel like I've really upgraded to a very nice model flight stick, the Velocity One flight stick. I might do a review on it at some point, but that's what I've been flying the last couple of days. Uh, well, yesterday and today. It came in yesterday, so... But here she is, Lady Liberty. Performance has been awesome with the latest driver in these settings. So I really hope they help you guys. And if you have any questions, post them below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the skies.